Ms. Anna Semenu, this is the home of independent, fearless, and credible journalism. The Ghana Health Service has embarked on an aggressive contact tracing after the country recorded its first two cases of the Marburg virus disease. A statement released by the service indicates that 98 people are now under quarantine as suspected contact uh, cases. Presidential Advice on Health, Dr. Nsiasari, who disclosed this to John News, said the World Health Organization is collaborating with the country to ensure that tracing is effectively conducted. The fatality is very high. That's why the first two who were suspected, they all died within 24 hours. They are from two different districts. But unfortunately, unfortunately, they use the same hospital. They are uh, contingent uh, districts. And they were tested positive. Our district team, the regional team, the national team are all there of support from uh, WHO to make sure that we followed all their contacts. Normally, the incubation period is 2 to 21 days. So Monday will be exactly 21 days. But so far, we haven't seen any okay. of the contacts also falling. So we are keeping straight to watch and trick surveillance on everywhere those two patients were. Dr. Nsiansari has also been given us an update on the monkeypox disease. So far, the case count is 19. Yeah, we've recorded some monkeypox infections about 19 positive cases okay. in about five regions. It wasn't here before, but we started seeing it. We will continuously be seeing some diseases coming in because of the environmental destruction that you're having. We know most of these things are what you call the zoono zoonotic diseases. We get it's animal to animal, but because of mankind's interaction of the, the en of, uh, animals. Let's do some more on this. We're joined by the Director of Public Health for the Ghana Health Service, Dr. Franklin Esiedu Bequeen. Thank you very much, sir, for your time here on the Midday News. First of all, give us an update on the 98 persons who are being monitored by the service. Okay, um, thank you and good afternoon to your listeners. Yes, yeah, so um, we have 98 um, contacts, but um, at the end of today, we'll be discharging 39 of them. They would have completed the 21 day maximum follow up. Would you say the rest who are in your uh, custody or who have been monitored are also doing well and are not showing severe symptoms? Yes, so this 98, um, it was only one that showed some symptoms about a week ago. We sent samples to the lab and it's negative. So, so far, none of the 98 has showed any symptoms. They are still being monitored on a daily basis, and they are fine. Your statement indicates that so far, uh, beyond the cases that have been recorded, you haven't seen any or recorded any case yet. What is your plan to increase surveillance and nip this in the bud? Yeah, so our approach is about containment as source. So what we are doing is that we are making sure that um, we identify all contacts, keep a close eye in the community involved, we are involving our community-based surveillance volunteers who have a better view of the community so that if the case will occur, we immediately detect and then manage. And that's what we are doing. And uh, let me also say that um, um, our hostels have a designated holding rooms that will manage the case. We've been having coordinated meetings with all our partners, everybody's interested, including the wildlife, about how to actually curtail this um, outbreak. Because the disease is zoonotic in nature, are you involved in the wildlife department, for instance, and what role would they be playing in your grant scheme? Yes, so we are actually involved in the wildlife in our discussions, in our meetings, because uh, the idea is to find the source. As of now, we are not very certain about the source. We know that the food bath is the reservoir, but it's not very common to actually isolate those things in Ghana. So we are working together to be sure how it got into the locality and then how best we can prevent future occurrences. Should you suspect anyone who is showing symptoms, what are the channels of reporting? How should we go about this? Yes, we have um, a similar system that moves from the community to the district to the region to the national. So we have uh, community um, case definitions, we have um, clinical case definitions that is used to pick cases. So let's say if the community volunteer um, find a case that looks like one, you just notify the health system. The health system goes to verify 
and, and then we'll now go through um, the proper um, case-based surveillance system. And so that's what we have been doing over the period. 